And the job is not complete yet. Uh, but that was quite a big moment, surely, wasn't it? Yeah, for sure. It was a massive a big win today. Um, we played not well. The 25 uh, first minutes, um, we didn't play, play the plan, to be honest. Uh, I was angry with the team because uh, we wanted uh, to do some other things. Um, but you could see that um, there's a lot of pressure of, of some players. It's not easy in that situation. And then, especially first half with the wind, uh, we played long balls and we, we should play flat passes. Uh, but we changed uh, after we changed. I spoke to the players and then uh, we played another uh, way after 25 minutes was much better. We created a lot of chances. Uh, also in the second half where we were so better, we should take the lead earlier. Um, but uh, yeah, we, ha we, we need hard work to, to get the portion of luck. And uh, then it was the moment for the big win. Uh, yeah, really good moment. You could see so many. Uh, friendly faces. Uh, the, the stadium was uh, unbelievable loud and uh, all were so happy with the three points. But it's just a first step. Yeah, we we have to recover now, enjoy the moment today, but then um, we have to recover and to stay focused for, for Tuesday because uh, we need more wins. And uh, yeah, for that's the reason why it's only the first step. I thought you might say that, but you're right, of course. And actually, uh, Nigel telephoning us now on the forum uh, uh, said exactly the same thing. You know, uh, it was a great moment to enjoy, um, but it's not the completion of the job, as you said. Still, you personally, Andre, are enjoying your first home win, yeah. which is a big moment. Did you think it wasn't coming? Do you think it was going to go nil-nil? Uh, I believed until the, the really last minute. Um... Uh, and my uh, one of my assistant coaches uh, said uh, we score in uh, 92. I think it was 94. <laughs> so uh, no, we we have to believe, and we had a good trainings week, and we had really some good uh, games uh, the last few weeks where uh, it was not reflected in points. But there is one day, the moment uh, to to um, to get the three points, and it uh, yeah, it was nice to see massive win because also against the opponent uh, opposition. Um, close to uh, us on the table. Yeah, big win and um, the, the win will uh, give us uh, much confidence. Uh, I don't know whether you knew this at the exact moment that Reese Healy scored your winner today, Andre, but Sheffield Wednesday were leading in their match at Queen's Park Rangers. So actually, Huddersfield Town went from 23rd in the table to, 20 to 21st. They jumped two places at that exact moment. Uh, and it's going to be like this between now and the end of the season. Inevitably, you'll have some difficulties. How do you think the players' self-management was on the field? There were some quite difficult collisions between some of your players and some of the Millwall players. Was that just the personalities involved or, or is it driven by the, the relegation situation, you think, that tension? Yeah, for sure. It, uh, um, the game was uh, full of emotions, especially in the second half, uh, because it was an important game for both teams. So, yeah, I, I, I saw after the game, uh, they they gave their hands and uh, everything is OK. That's good. That's good to know. How important was it for you personally to get the response that you wanted from your team today when you were so disappointed in their first half hour? You change things. They respond. Uh, you get the result that you deserve. That is a good product from a team effort, including yourself. Yeah, but uh, it's uh, never my way to speak uh, about my person about my person uh, because uh, I can I, I try to help the team and uh, indi individual players uh, to improve and to, or to develop. Yeah, we speak about the match plan, but the players are on the pitch and they decide uh, uh, if they do the right thing or not. So. Uh, yeah, when you when you saw the goal and uh, we were all together, then you know that we 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 are one team, and this is what we need for the blacks for, for the last games. Reese Healy is a fascinating player. You're you're using him sparingly, half an hour at a time maybe, but he he's delivered two very big moments at home now, and clearly he was born to be a striker. He knows exactly where to stand. Yeah, for sure. But uh, we we know this. Uh, but uh, he is. Uh, not really fit for for a whole game and uh, normally he should train and uh, not play but uh, we decided all together that uh, in, we have no time to wait so 
yeah, he, he scored twice in the last few games, and uh, but he was blowing after uh, after five minutes. Really? Yes, and uh, yeah, but because he uh, always give his best, and um, yeah, but he's he's dangerous uh, also with long throw-ins, and uh, yeah, there's uh, little details. But I want to speak uh, about all all the other strikers. Uh, Joshko Roma, he did it well today. Uh, Dilano. Um, yeah, he is uh, on the way to to score maybe on on Tuesday or, or the next day. He, he showed a good performance. Daniel Ward was absolutely positive when he came in, and this is what we need. Uh, not the individual person playing their own game. We we need to play as a team and uh, and to celebrate as a team. And uh, this is what I what I saw, I saw today. That's great. And now we can look forward to the final five games of the season. Do you think, Andre, that you've had to work at, at bringing that team mentality into this squad? Yeah, we try uh, <laughs> that thing the whole time, and uh, it's always uh, important to have the the right mentality. Um, today we saw the mentality is uh, in in the in the team, and uh, when you, when you uh, uh, win, uh, it's good. It's also good for the confidence, and um, yeah, this is what we need. And uh, we we prepare us for for Tuesday. We try to give our best again, and uh, yeah, then uh, it's uh, it will be not easy for Preston to beat us.